Okay. Are we ready? You want to start standing this morning? Let's do that. Get my microphone on. Standing. Little adjustment here. Nice. Okay. Let's start. Just start. You can go ankles together or open a little more if you're feeling you need a little more stability. Hips, shoulders. Nice. So pressing your feet firmly into the earth, into the floor, standing lifted, You can close your eyes here. Just feel your feet. If you want to go over the toes a little bit more, the heels. Just feeling the four corners of your feet. Start to draw that energy up through the legs, up through the belly and the spine, keeping your glutes a little bit tucked under, just firm. Open up the shoulders. You get a little squeeze between the shoulder blades. And there's a little squeeze between the shoulder blades, but the shoulders are back and down. Drawing the chin in. So you're not completely still, you're just kind of feeling that balance over both feet. So there's a little bit of movement, but you have this stillness and calm within. And we're just gonna work with our breathing. And then doing a little breathing technique, pranayama. Take one hand and it's kind of like the hang loose symbol with the hand. So there's the pinky and the thumb are out and we're gonna bring them a little closer together right over the nostrils. So inhaling, close off one side like with your pinky, inhale. Close off the other side with your thumb, exhale. And then again. Inhaling up one side. 
exhale down the other side. And then reverse it. And then breathing out both nostrils, breathing in both nostrils. And we'll start with the arms, inhale up, exhale, press, inhale up, exhale, press. So just taking your time. Arms forward, inhale up, exhale down. We're going to go inhale up, exhale down, inhale forward, and then coming into a chair. Inhale up, reach and down. Inhale forward and exhale, chair. Keep it going. Forward and chair. Let's get one more. And chair holding. And then stretch the legs, hands right on the tops of the thighs. The knees are soft, just coming forward like a modified monkey pose. If you want to go deeper, make sure you get some support. Just trying to keep the, the back nice and level or flat. And then coming back up, pushing the hips gently forward. So just enough so that you're squeezing your glutes. Glutes are tight. If you want to draw the arms around the back for support, just a squeeze. Lengthening up the front of the thigh, the hip, and drawing in through the belly. Coming forward, folding down, get some support if you want to start to release the head. Coming up and a little back bend, just squeezing your glutes, pressing the hips. Not a whole lot going on in the spine so much, unless you really want to squeeze your shoulder blades. Forward and fold. Start to let the head go. Coming up, press those hips forward, squeeze the glutes super tight, 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 squeeze and recover. One more to the front. Just feeling that length of the spine. Draw it up and press the hips forward. And recover. 
Let's take a hand on the hip, up the side. Inhale, up the side. Just our morning stretch. All about warming up and moving. So it's like a very gentle vinyasa because we're just moving with the breath. Gentle vinyasa morning stretch. And we'll bring it around the back, a little back bend. Let those shoulders drop back, squeeze the gluteals. Coming forward, flat back. Get some support. A little lift of the chin, start to work that monkey pose. And then let the head go, fold. Inhale to monkey, chair, sweeping up, little baby back bend, palms coming in, and we'll lift the heels. So feet rocking back on the heels, lifting the heels. Heels drop, inhale up, diving down, let the head go, a little bend and straighten, inhale to monkey, exhale chair, big sweep up, little back bend, reach, palms coming in, lift the heels, and just trying to stick it for a moment, balancing right over the big toe part of the foot. Heels drop back to chair. Giving a little hold so we can build a little strength along the way. Folding into a monkey, lift the chin, lift the tailbone. Release the head, a little bend and straighten through the knees, and then rolling up slow, arms loose, reset the shoulders, and we'll open up the feet a little more. Inhale, exhale, side, inhale. Exhale, side. Up to the top, folding forward. Soften the knees a little more. We'll lift the chin to monkey. This time we're just going to step back into down dog. Working through the feet. Let the knees drop, child's pose. Draw the belly in, we'll roll it up, sitting back towards the heels. Open up the chest. And 
and coming right back out for a little cat cow. So hands and knees, inhale up, exhale down. Working your cat cow. Get the spine warmed up as you move through. Feels good. Spinal cord, bend and flex. So taking your time, really feeling each asana, each part of the pose. And your cat, squeeze the glutes, press the back up, contract in the belly on your cow, lift the tailbone, drawing the shoulders back, open the throat. And then we'll center it off. Let's press back, child's pose, arms extend. Open up the palms and then just squeeze, lifting the center of the hand. And then press the palm, stretch it out, and then lift, pressing into the fingertips, lift the palm, the center of the hand. So a little different stretch and contract for the hands, we'll stretch it out. Let's come up, modified plank, bringing the chest down, cobra with support. So elbows, forearms, squeeze your glutes, and then you have opportunity to press and get a little more. Release. Let the forehead rest. We're just gonna rock the hips. And then press into the arms again. Cobra up. And release. Rock through the hips and press. Release, draw the hands back. Let's tricep press right back into child's pose. Arms loose, and we'll take those arms just straight out from the shoulder. <sighs> Pull the belly in, rolling up. Sitting back towards the heels, just for a moment, open up the shoulders. And we'll come back out, tuck the toes, down dog, feet. Walk those feet up to the front, forward fold. Inhale to monkey, 
Exhale, chair. Big sweep up. Reach, extend. Palms coming in and we'll lift the heels. Let those heels drop. Let's do three sun salutations. Inhale, dive down, monkey, stepping back. Inhale to plank. We'll bring the chest down, cobra up. Tuck the toes, big push, down dog. Stepping through, walk those feet up. Inhale, monkey. Exhale, chair. Big sweep up. Palms coming in and a little heel lift. Let those heels drop again. Dive. Inhale, monkey. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down. Inhale, cobra. Tuck the toes. Exhale, all the way back. Stepping through both feet. Inhale, monkey. Exhale, chair. Inhale, reach. And exhale, bring it in a little lift. Take an extra breath here. One more. All the way through. Take your time. Working your strength. Cobra. Pressing right back. Bring those feet up. Up to the top. Palms coming in. And we'll come into our mountain. Arms right up to the top. We're going to do a lateral flexion. Stretch through both arms. Inhale. Stretch through both arms. Inhale. Right up to the top. Palms coming in and open. Lift the chest. We'll take the arms around the back. So a little squeeze between the shoulder blades, squeeze the glutes, create your back bend. Lifting the sternum and recover. Chest expansion coming forward. You can always use a strap here if you'd like. Should have my strap close by anyway. Using your strap between the shoulders so that you're not overdoing it in the shoulder rotation. Release all the way down. We'll lift the chin, stepping back. Work a little of your down dog heels, tipping the tailbone up, ready for a nice strong plank. Make sure the hands are right under the shoulders. As 
see if we can hold for a couple of breaths. Then we'll let the knees drop so we can slowly elbows in, bring the chest down. Forehead rest. Just rock the hips. And then scoop up with a nice strong cobra. If you want to do a little more of an up dog, get your hands right under the shoulders, press. Squeeze the glutes, stretch some energy through the legs. And then we'll lift, flip the feet, down dog. Stepping through. Work that monkey pose. And then we'll start to let the hips drop down. So this is a deeper squat. And then when your back is flat, we'll come up. Sweep it up. Reach. Palms. Just taking a moment, close your eyes, feel your feet. And then we'll open it up. Sunflowers, part of our vinyasa flow. Inhale, exhale. Take your time. Nice, one more. Up to the top, reach. Fingertips. Nice big expansion. Inhale. And then we'll come in, sun goddess. We've got some sun today, celebrating that sun goddess pose, some sunshine. Inhale, reach, exhale, press. And then palms come in, let's stretch it, push those heels out, flat back, take it down. Let's walk it out a little bit with the hands. So just gently, as far as you want to go, more of like a down dog position in the front. So we're going to press the shoulders, look through the legs but don't let your feet roll up. Really press into the outer edge of the foot. Stretch through the arms, pushing into the palms, tipping the tailbone. We're ready to walk those hands back to a straddle, head over towards one leg, easy. If 
you want to reach across. And other side, reach across. And center, we'll lift the chin, get a little monkey pose going. Tailbone, and then flat back, coming all the way up with support if you need it. Open it up, toes, one side. Let's take our warrior two. Just sinking in, feel good about your warrior two hips. Shoulders. So that front knee is open, back shoulder open. So there's a connection there. Front knee, back shoulder. We'll come forward, extended angle reach. Nice long extension, feeling it all the way up through the torso, side body. Keep the legs reverse warrior. Just breathing, moving through. We'll bring that hand down, stretch, triangle, reach, and tip it over. Exhale, cartwheel down, a long lunge here. If you want to lift that back heel, let your hips sink gently down. So if you need more support, you can always use your block. You can use the knee. Modifying for your body. We're going to bring that back foot in just a tiny bit. Drop the heel. Let's pivot back around to the front. Get those feet and hips. Lift the chin. Flat back all the way up. Nice. Other side. Arms, legs. Sinking into your warrior two on the other side. And again, just take that moment, front knee, back shoulder, open to your level. Making that connection. And we'll sweep it, extend right up through the ribs, chest, and arm. Keep those legs reverse warrior. Just a couple of breaths. We'll bring the arm down, stretch that front leg. Legs are straight. Arms, triangle, reach and open. Just making our way through our asanas. Let that arm cartwheel down, back heel comes up, 
And again, support if you need it. Knee block. Just letting the hip sink, that leg behind, it's nice and long. Trying to straighten it out. If it doesn't get completely straight, that's okay. But we're trying to send some energy right out through the heel. Bring it in a little bit, drop that heel. We get to pivot around and then we're just gonna slowly walk those hips back underneath. Forward fold, let the head go. And then soft knees slowly rolling up, arms are loose. Come back up to very tall position. Mountain, open the chest. Beautiful day. We'll bring the palms in. Let's do a little bit of our tree. Just centering, balancing. Finding that focus with your eyes. One fixed position. And we'll switch And we'll bring it in. Let's open up the feet a little bit. We're just going to release the arms. So nice and loose. Try to get the exhale squeezing the air out of you. Just wringing out the spine. See if you can look behind you when you come around. And we'll let it slow. 
Coming in, we're going to turn to the side, do one of our moving balances. So opposite arm and leg, a little sweep, pendulum. And we'll let it slow. Other side, plant that foot opposite arm and leg, get a little swing. You can start small and then just get very balanced, sturdy right under that, right on top of that supporting leg. Whoa, and we'll let it slow. Come on back, inhale, dive, monkey, stepping back, down dog, inhale to plank, bringing the chest down, cobra, Or if you want that up dog, push into the palms, squeeze the glutes, extend some energy down the legs. We'll let the knees drop, press back, child's pose. Open up the knees a little more. So we can sink in. A little roll across the forehead. Some expanding breaths through the ribs. We'll come up. Let's move out to the front. We're going to have a seat. Bring those legs out. If you've got your strap close, we're going to just wrap it around the feet. Lift the chest. Just a seated forward fold, but very tall through the spine, bringing the chest forward a little bit at a time. So big inhale, expand, exhale, drawing the chest closer to the knees. Inhale, expand, exhale. Expand, exhale. One more. And then at the bottom, just release the shoulders. If you want to soften the knees here, rounding over, release the shoulders, the neck and the head, scoop out the belly. So you're pulling in through the abdominals, folding the ribs right down towards the hips. A 
Let the head release, just a little easy side to side with the head. And then we'll pull the belly in, roll it up, set the shoulders. We're going to bring the arms out to the side, inhale up, keeping even weight over the hips, inhale, reach, inhale, reach. Center, remove that block, draw the feet in right underneath of you. If you need a little support under those knees, under the thighs. So lifting up through the back, opening up the chest. Again, we're going to make that hang loose sign with the fingers and do a little breathing. So pinky on one nostril, thumb on the other, just gently. And then we'll plug one side and then exhale. So inhale up one side, exhale down the other side. So alternate nostril breathing. Take it slow. Up one side, out the other side. And then reverse it. So in and out the other side. And then in both and out through both. Soften the eyes, just focusing in on your breathing. Take a couple of big, full, expanding breaths. And 
really feel the ribs and the belly expand when you breathe in. One more. And we'll go ear to shoulder. Up over the top, ear to shoulder. Side to side, just slow and easy. When you bring the ear over to the shoulder, opposite shoulder, get a little roll. Other side. So kind of drawing that shoulder away from the ear and the ear away from the shoulder. And a switch. And a switch. And then center, and we'll pull both shoulders down away from the ears. Draw the chin around, lengthening. You feel that length down the back of the neck, down the shoulder, pressing away. And we'll center chin to chest. Keep drawing those shoulders down. And then we'll release the shoulders. Just get a little roll down into your lap. Releasing the upper body. Scoop out the belly. Head is loose. <sighs> Pull the belly in, rolling right back up through the spine, shoulders, head. We'll bring the palms in, heart center. Just giving thanks, some gratitude, some joy, unconditional love for yourself, for others. Thank you for joining me this morning for a nice little vinyasa. Got us all warmed up for the day. Peace. Namaste. Excellent. Go out and enjoy your day. Beautiful day. Take some time in your day to sit and, hi Shannon, thanks for joining me. Excellent. You know, um, we were just talking about doing a um, restorative class for Wednesday evening at five. So if you want to join us for that, or you can watch it any time that you would like. But yeah, we're going to do a little restorative on Wednesday evening. Sounds good. Have a wonderful day. Peace.